Hello and welcome to the discussion of JEE Advanced 2015 Physics paper. Right here we are going to discuss paper 1 and the code that I have is code 0. So let's begin. This time the initial questions of code O is beginning from integer type questions where these questions would have answers in numerical value ranging from 0 to 9 both inclusive and the first question that I have it's very clearly seen is from ray optics where a lens of refractive index 1.5 so that's glass has focal length 10 centimeter in air and there is another concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeter these two units are separated by 50 centimeter and object is kept at a distance 15 centimeter. Now the erect image formed by the combination has magnification m1. So quite obviously at this particular juncture you should be having an idea in which case the image would be erect and inverted. So this question gives the word erect image that means it considers multiple optical phenomena. First the reflection then refraction because the position of the object is between F and C for mirror so it will form a real inverted image and that image if I call I1 will act as object for lens and the final image is going to be an erect image. Let's try to see that particular magnification is M1 and when the whole setup is kept in a medium of refractive index 7 by 6. Now again it's very clear if we insert it in a medium, the reflection phenomenon is not going to get affected. What is going to get affected is the refraction phenomenon. And at that situation, the magnification becomes M2. And we need to calculate the magnitude of M2 by M1. So let's go. In the first deal, if I say I1 is the image due to reflection. So in that situation, this is very clear. Object is at 15 centimeter. So image will be at 30 centimeter on the same side. So that's I1. We can easily calculate this particular thing using the mirror formula. And that will be at 30 centimeter. And now, if you see MM, what I'll be using is magnification given by the mirror. For the mirror, magnification formula is minus of V by U and minus of minus 30 by minus 15. That comes out to be negative 2. And as I'd say, now this image will be acting as object for the lens. And you could see the value is quite good enough. The object for lens is at 20 centimeter. So the object is at 2F. So therefore, the final image would also be at 20 centimeter. At least this can be done by experience. Or if you want to use lens formula, you'll be getting it. And in this situation, magnification offered by lens, that's V by U. And that comes out to be plus of 20 by minus of 20. And that comes out to be minus of 1. So M1 is the net magnification. So quite obviously in this cascaded form, the magnification would be product of individual magnification and that's 2. Now comes the second case. When the whole thing is immersed in liquid of refractive index 7 by 6, still the reflection part is not going to change because reflection is not affected by any value change in refractive index. But now let's try to see what change would occur for refraction. The change would be the change in focal length. In the first case, 1 by Fa is focal length in air. That would be equals to mu by 1. That would be 3 by 2 minus of 1 multiplied by k. That's 1 by R1 minus of 1 by R2. And that thing comes out to be k by 2. In the second case, 1 by f 
m the focal length in medium that would be mu lens by mu medium and that mu of medium is 7 by 6 minus of 1 multiplied by k let's try to see how much is the value so that's very very clear 18 minus of 14 by 14 so that would be 4k by 14 and that clearly is 2k by 7 so this gives now the relation of the focal length in medium and focal length in air what I'll do is that I'll divide both 1 by fa 1 by fm and that's going to be k by 2 multiplied by 2k by 7 and this implies focal length in medium is quite obviously 7 by 4 times focal length in air and now you could see that focal length in air is 10 so if I put the value of 10 that would be 35 by 2 centimeter would be the focal length in medium now let's try to calculate the final image position quite obviously the mirror part is not going to change but this part will certainly change because that would be the final image formed by the lens let's say that would be 1 by v is 1 by f plus 1 by u but yes the focal length in medium that's 35 by 2 why not to take it upstairs and u is 20 so that will be minus of 1 by 20 this comes out to be 140 and this would be 4 to 8 minus 7 so that would be 1 in other word this implies v equals to 140 so in the second situation what is happening is the final image is being formed at 140 centimeter so what would be the magnification in the second case that would be the product of magnification of lens and mirror the mirror part is still 2 and the lens part that is 7 so this comes out to be 14 and we were required to calculate the value of m2 by m1 and m2 by m1 would give 7 so the correct answer for this particular question is 7 now let's move for question number 2 